Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Anne Sylvestre with Focus and Flourish. Today I would like to talk to you about the number 10 and 15 blades. You probably have both in your practice and your set ways of when you use each of them. You might have also been taught the very same way I was taught in that you use the number 10 blade to make your skin incision and then it goes to the back of your instrument table never to be touched again because it is considered dirty which isn't inaccurate however having said all that i think of the blades differently and i look at them more in what they can do for me and how they can make my job easier and prevent me from making a mistake if I'm having a moment of not totally paying attention. So the number 10 blade has a nice big belly on it and it is great for making a long decision because you have a long cutting surface on the number 10 blade and it will give you just about the right depth for that long incision as well. The number 15 blade has a much smaller belly on it and it is much better designed for precision work because of the small cutting surface you know that your cut will be precise and it's not going to be too big or cutting into tissues you weren't planning on cutting into because oh your blade is just a little bit bigger than necessary for the intended job. For safety reasons, I do strongly recommend that you use the number 15 blade when you're working inside the abdomen. It is a smaller blade. It is less likely to inadvertently cut somewhere or something that you weren't intending on cutting because it is more precise. You know, we often get distracted in surgery. You might be just about ready to cut that difficult ovarian pedicle and that big fat Doberman that you're spaying when somebody comes to the OR to tell you about Mrs. Smith is on the phone and she's angry with you because of blah, blah, blah. You know, that's not the best time to be in the abdomen doing something a little difficult with a bigger blade than necessary because you might be a little distracted now. So having the right instrument is helpful. What I do is in my instrument pack, I have two scalpel handles. Scalpel handles are cheap. Scalpel blades even cheaper. So it is not and should not be a cost thing. But by having two scalpel handles in my pack, when I open up my instruments, I just load up one scalpel handle with the number 10 and the other scalpel handle with my number 15. And then I can just pick the appropriate scalpel handle to get the job done. I'm not switching blades halfway through surgery. On top of that, my two scalpel handles look very different. I have the regular number, the Bard Parker, I think it's a number three that we all tend to use. And I've got my number 10 blade on that. And my number 15 blade is on one of those long, thin number seven scalpel handles. The nice number seven scalpel handle just allows me that little bit of a greater reach for when I'm working deep into the abdomen. Maybe that's something you want to think about as well. As I said, scalpel handles are cheap. Do I think it's actually wrong to use that number 10 blade that you made the skin incision with inside the abdomen to cut the pedicle and body of the uterus, which a lot of people do? I think there are many worse ways on a day-to-day -day basis where we break cleanliness in the OR. Now, especially in general practices where you're going to have one OR, usually most general practices have one OR and all your procedures are done in that OR. So you might have an emergency pyometra and you get that done, and, but then you go and you do all your other space surgeries or whatever procedures are scheduled for the day. Also, I feel that probably the biggest break in cleanliness in the OR comes from people just walking in the OR while you're doing an abdominal procedure. No cap, no mask, 
more importantly, they might be wearing their dirty scrubs because they were carrying a dog or cat, you know, across the treatment room. And now that scrub suit is full of hair and they didn't put a clean lab coat on before coming into the OR to speak with you or to get something out of the OR. I think that's a bigger break in cleanliness and more significant than the scalpel blade that was used on skin and then is used to cut a pedicle. My opinion, nothing more than that. And I would love to hear your opinion. Let me know what you think. Thank you for listening and have yourselves a wonderful day. I hope you found this video helpful. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.